what's up my name is Technobo here for troubleshoot and welcome back to another video in this video i'll show you how to mount a windows shared folder in linux specifically debian distributions including pop os which i'm currently using and ubuntu what this is based off of though of course this should work on other debian distros as well so to begin i'll open up the terminal and we'll be running a few commands here you'll find these in the description down below sudo apt get install samba samba client cifs utils lib nss win bind and win bind so sudo apt get install samba samba client sifs utils lib nss win bind and win bind then i'll hit enter enter my sudo password and hit yes to start the installation these are all of the packages that we'll be using in this video now i'll go ahead and clear this and we'll get started now that we have everything installed in order to mount a folder from our windows desktop or anything else onto this device here we need to create a folder that will be mounted in place so i'll be sharing a folder called github from my desktop computer so sudo mkdir medium and i'll enter the folder name here i'll be sharing a folder called github so I'll call it GitHub here. The name doesn't matter, but you will need to remember this later on. Of course, I'll also need to share this on my desktop computer. So in my documents here, I have this GitHub folder with my GitHub repositories inside of it. I'll be sharing this so I can access it on my Linux computer. In this case, my Linux virtual machine. I'll right click the GitHub folder, properties, and in here I'll head across to the sharing tab, advanced sharing, then tick share this folder, permissions, everyone full control and these two tick boxes below it okay apply okay and close now we've successfully shared it from our computer onto the network in this sharing tab here you'll find the network path that we'll be using later on you can copy this and save this of course if you'd prefer you can also use an ip address instead of a computer name here but we'll get back there later so now that we have the file shared let's go ahead and mount it and connect it on linux here so let's enable sharing first. sudo nano etc ns switch dot conf and hit enter. Inside of this file here on the hosts line, I'm using the arrow keys to navigate. I'll hold control and press the right arrow to skip a whole bunch of characters all the way to just before DNS. Then I'll insert wins wins and space. Control S to save the file. Control X to quit. Then I'll run sudo service networking restart and hit enter. Now that the networking driver has been restarted, we can back up our fstab file where we'll be permanently mounting this folder on our computer, getting it to appear, getting it to appear in the file manager somewhere over here. So I'll back up the fstab file. sudo cp to copy slash etc slash fstab space etc fstab dot old. After we've copied the file, which we can then restore at some stage in the future using sudo mv etc fstab old to etc fstab. Though I won't be running this now, of course. We need to create a file that we can put our credentials in to access later. So for this, I'll run nano home techno, which is my username, dot smb cred. Of course, this can be any file you want, but I'll name it this. Just remember where you put it. In here, I'll enter username equals followed by my Windows username, in this case, technome, and password equals followed by my Windows password in plain text. If you use a domain or something else, you'll enter that here as well. But for me, it's just a username and password to which I'll enter my password and then hit Control S to save the file and Control X to exit. Now that we've written our login details into the file here, we can run ID Techno, the current account name on this computer, and we'll see UID equals and GID equals. Both of these are 1000. Of course, if you're the only user, it should be 1000 by default. Now that we have collected all of these and we've backed up the fstab file, we've created the folder, we've put in the credentials, we can actually get to mounting it properly. So, sudo nano etc fstab and enter. Now we're going to edit this file here. Head to the very bottom of this static file system information file and we'll be entering slash slash followed by the address of your computer, which can be the IP address or of course the host name as such forward slash the folder, in my case, GitHub, then space media followed by the folder's name that we created. In my case, GitHub, CIFS credentials equals 
And now we're going to enter quite a bit of information. So we're going to enter the folder. So we're going to enter the file that we saved our credentials in, that .smb cred file, slash home, slash techno, slash smb cred, comma, and then a bunch of other text which you'll find in the description down below as well. So io char set equals utf8, comma, gid equals, followed by the gid of your account, in my case, 1000, comma, uid equals 1000, or whatever your uid is, comma, file underscore mode equals 0777, comma, dir underscore mode equals 0777, space zero, space zero. Hit enter to go into the next line, just for easy access, control S and control X. My mistake later on here, I entered a minus rather than an equals. So I'll save it, close it, and then around sudo mount hyphen A. Hopefully it should be able to mount. Otherwise, if you see something like this, we'll need to edit the file again. And instead of using our computer name, we'll instead use an IP address. So 192.168.1.20, save, close, and try to mount it again. This time you should see a pop-up at the top of your computer. And if you open up the file manager inside of here, you'll then see GitHub or whatever folder you added down here. And it'll be synced with your Windows desktop computer over the network. Opening up files and folders, things work practically as they would anywhere else. We can create files, edit files, and all of that good stuff because we gave ourselves full permission using 0777 as the permission value. Nice and simple, or it can take quite a while to get here, but when you do, it's nice and simple, and restarting your computer, it should automatically link up as long as it's there on the network. Now, to add other files and folders to this, it's really simple once you set it up the first time. All we need to do is sudo mkdir media and followed by the folder's name. Then to actually add them, we once again need to sudo nano etc fstab. All you need to do is duplicate this line down here and simply swap out the folder name here and over here. It's as simple as that. Now that we've mounted it, it should stay there practically forever and allow us to use it as long as it's connected over the same network and of course shared on our Windows computer. Firewalls and other things can get in the way, so do keep that in mind. But anyways, that about wraps it up for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!